In a significant escalation of the conflict, the United States and the United Kingdom launched airstrikes on Thursday night targeting Houthi facilities in Yemen. This marks the first time during the war that the US and its allies have directly attacked Yemeni territory in retaliation for the Houthi group's actions in the Red Sea. However, analysts are suggesting that rather than being deterred, the Houthis might be further emboldened by these attacks. Despite not being internationally recognized as the government of Yemen, the group controls significant portions of the country and experts believe that the increased attention from the world's sole superpower could elevate their regional and domestic profile. On January 10th, the US and the UK successfully repelled 21 drones and missiles in what is described as the Houthis' largest operation yet on Red Sea traffic. The United Nations Security Council or UNSC, comprising the world's most powerful nations, condemned the Houthi attacks on Red Sea ships in a recent resolution. However, this condemnation also underscored the growing influence of the Houthi group as a force to be reckoned with. A senior researcher with the Sana Center for Strategic Studies, Abdul Ghani Al Iriani, emphasized that the Houthis actually won that confrontation the day they started it. Within Yemen, the Houthi group, formerly known as Ansar Allah, controls the West, including the strategically vital Bab al Mandeb Strait, leading into the Red Sea. They are engaged in territorial battles against the internationally recognized government of Yemen and its domestic allies. The Houthi actions in the Red Sea, coupled with their vocal support for the people of Gaza, have gained immense popularity among Yemenis. This popularity has translated into increased recruitment and the ability to organize massive rallies in solidarity with the Palestinian people. The Houthis claim to be intercepting Israel-bound and Israeli-owned ships passing through the Bab al-Mandeb Strait claiming to pressure Israel to allow sufficient humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip. This move comes in response to Israel's actions in Gaza over the past three months, resulting in the loss of more than 23,000 lives, primarily civilians. It was on November 19th that the Houthis captured global attention by commandeering the Galaxy Leader cargo ship, subsequently turning it into an unconventional tourist attraction. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.